welcome everybody to uh, to the webinar uh, today. Um, this work on conditional parameter optimization is uh, done with my uh, colleagues uh, Radu Silvanu and uh, uh, Sergey uh, Bilov. Um, their names are our co-authors in the paper that accompany uh, the uh, webinar. So um, the idea of parameter optimization is of course very familiar to many uh, traders, but actually, uh, actually, let me go to the next page. Um, what we have added uh, to this uh, very familiar concept of parameter optimization is to adapt it to different market regimes. Uh, and that I believe is something uh, uh, new that haven't been really thought of uh, much before. So what are regimes? Now, some of these regimes in the markets are very familiar uh, to, to investors and traders. Of course, they are the bullish and bearish regimes. They are the flat and chop versus choppy regimes. They are risk on versus risk off regime. Risk on meaning people are very eager to take risk. Uh, you know, they buy equities, buy emerging market currencies, buy high yield bonds. Uh, versus risk off regimes where people are very conservative and very risk averse. Uh, they sell equity and buy um, government investment grade bonds. They buy US dollar and short um, emerging market currencies and so forth. And then there are inflationary versus deflation regime and so on and so forth. Um, these uh, regimes being so familiar and so visible are um, typically affect every portfolio and every strategy. There are hardly any strategy or any portfolio that are not affected with, you know, by whether the market is uh, volatile or, or calm, right? And, um, and these regimes being so uh, familiar and visible are also easy to identify uh, after the fact, right? So, you know, you can look back in the year 2020 uh, in, you know, let's say March to April and say, oh, those are, uh, that's certainly a risk off regime, but after, June, you might say, oh, now suddenly we are on to a risk on regime uh, because everybody's buying high tech stocks. It's easy to identify after the fact, but you know, try predicting them is not that easy, right? If you could have predicted that uh, you know, in March 2020, we'll have a, you know, some days that are down 15%, uh, you would be very rich uh, by now, right? So it's, it's easy to identify a posteriori, but not easy to predict. And in fact, predicting the onset of a new regime can be as hard as predicting market directions. 